Hello everybody. Today's video features a pair of long wing bluchers. I wanted to talk about the long wing blucher both as a style because it's one that's become increasingly popular in recent years after kind of being considered a more dated style over the past decade. Um, part of the more Americana heritage style of shoe. These were very popular in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and even into the 80s, but then fell out of favor as Oxfords and other styles of shoes emerged as more prominent and favored styles. But the long wing blucher is, has been a long established style amongst shoe enthusiasts. And Carmina has done a great job at producing models in shell cordovan, while others, vintage model makers such as Florsheim, Hanover, Nettleton, and others have fallen by the wayside, leaving a smaller number of people who produce high quality long wing bluchers. Carmina puts together a really lovely option. And one thing I love about Carmina is that they offer a wide range of shell cordovan colors from the Hornwein tannery. So you get some of the highest quality leather available out there. This model right here features navy shell cordovan while this model is in a highly sought after color for shell cordovan. If you were trying to get either of these models from Alden, I don't think Alden even sources and carries any um, navy shell cordovan, and color four would be something you'd have to get on a rare shell cordovan list, and it may take you a year or two to get it. But on Carmina's site, you can actually get these Butcher style shoes. So I wanted to go through these two models. Um, before I did that, I wanted to give a little shout out to Flypaper89. Uh, he is a fellow shoe enthusiast and boot enthusiast. And, um, gave me a great deal on this pair. The enthusiastically and enjoyably named St. Crispin Glover. Two of my favorite things, St. Crispin Shoes and Crispin Glover. For those of you who don't remember, Crispin Glover has been a cult actor, probably most famous for his role as, uh, as George McFly in Back to the Future. So. That being aside, St. Crispin Glover, great named, very pleasant gentleman who also gave me a fantastic deal on a color four shell. And so these are both very, very lightly used samples. So let's start by talking about this particular model, which is the Navy um, Shell Cordovan uh, model from Carmina. This is built on the Oscar last, which is their more conservative round toed last. You can see the round toe here. And if I flip the shoe over, you can see the rounded toe right here. You can see the very clean job done in Goodyear welting here, the Carmina shoemaker um, emblem right here, the sticker is still on there. And you can see just a little bit of wear from the person who had some heel drag, but this is a very, very lightly used shoe with Carmina's rubber studded sole, just a feature. It has a 360 degree storm welt, which you can kind of see along right here. This kind of raised edge here signifies the storm welt, which theoretically makes it more waterproof. Uh, the 360 degree slight contrast stitching, the natural ed edge welt dressing, antique brass eyelets that you can see here all complement the long wing style. Well, the long wing blucher is a blucher which makes it a derby shoe. A derby shoe has an open lacing system, meaning that it's open flaps both on one side of the shoe, the distal or the far side of the facing, as well as on the top where it meets the collar here. So those are both open, meaning they're not bound to the vamp. And a lot of people find that this style is more comfortable for their feet, particularly those who have abnormally shaped feet, because it gives you more tolerances in terms of types of lacing and strategies that you can do to accommodate various insteps. The blucher is a style of derby shoe, which has an abbreviated facing here. It doesn't have a, a facing and a panel that extends out to the backs or the side paneling. Um, and the long wing is essentially a wingtip. You can see the wingtip style right here. 
Um, it's usually uh, featuring a very beautiful medallion similar to the one demonstrated here. I think both of these shoes have the exact same medallion. And then the side paneling goes extends from the long wing all the way to the rear aspect of the shoe and uh, all the way to the back heel stay here. You can see the substantial broguing as well as edge dressing that you can see here, this broguing that's extensive, this kind of sharp uh, serrated edge here, and um, just a beautiful makeup here in Horween um, Navy Shell. A little shout out to Pure Polish Products. Pure Polish products are some of my favorite in terms of taking care of shoes. I typically use their weather resistant creams for shell cordovan and then a fair bit of brushing. Sometimes you use their cleaner and conditioner if the shell seems a little drier. Um, and you can see that shell cordovan features just rolls here. What I liked about this style was the contrast um, edge dressing that offset and highlights the navy uh, as well as the antique brass eyelets which both protect the shell quarter given against cracking long term, as well as um, gives it a nice aesthetic. So I just wanted to show you that five eyelet design on the blucher. The long wing blucher is a fairly casual shoe that had for some time fallen out of favor. It's very popular in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And then in the 90s and 2000s, Oxfords and other styles became more prominent in the workplace, um, which is why companies such as Floorsheim Nettleton, Hanover, and others who were known as producers of the long wing style stopped uh, production and essentially went out of business. I'm gonna put this shoe down here so you have a slightly different perspective. And then I'm gonna move over to this pair, which I actually just got. This is Color 4 Shell Cordovan, which is one of the more desired Shell Cordovan models. It's probably my favorite color because it has so many different um, ways of um, showing up based off of the lighting here. You can almost see as I rotate the shoe that as the shoe catches light in different ways, it almost changes luster and color. I used uh, products from Pure Polish products, including this Walnut Cream Polish and the Cleaner and Conditioner, which I used to rehydrate the shoe upon receiving it. This pair actually has a uh, similar natural edge dressing, but in this instance, it has a 270 degree flat welt, not a storm welt here. And that makes the shoe quite a bit lighter here than its counterpart that's down here. Also the fact that there's a JR sole, you can see a very lightly used JR sole with a little rubber end plate here and toe nails here, but this has barely been worn, maybe just worn indoors or very lightly outdoors. Other things I did to get some of the the rolls out of the shoe were using a deer bone as well as a sleeking bone to smooth out uh, the edges and then a ton of brushing to establish the shine and give this its luster back. I used laces from Guarded Goods to uh, complement the edge dressing and to set the shoe up as a little bit more um, casual in its styling, but otherwise it has a very similar shape, feel, and look to the navy from Excel here. I think the colors complement each other well, and I'm very happy that I was able to get a color four uh, pair for a reasonable price. And now with a leather sole versus a rubber sole, I have options here. You can see the extensive broguing on the wing tip. You can see the side paneling that's more abbreviated. That makes the facing here with the broguing on the edges there. You can see that similar um, natural colored lining on the inside of the shoe and the heel pad. The style would suggest that this is actually a slightly newer model than this model here, just based off of how Carmina's emblems have evolved over the years. One thing I did notice about both models that's different than say the Floorshine model is you can see this little seam right here, this joint that is essentially created by two pieces of leather being attached here rather than a single piece of leather making the side paneling heading into the, the top of the vamp here. You can see similarly right here, that little bit of stitching here. So Floorsheim does not have that. Hanover does have that. And I think that this might be a cost saving maneuver on Carmina's part to use um, smaller pieces of shell cordovan to assemble their shoes. So it saves some of their shell um, rather than trying to find larger pieces.
Just giving you a few more views of this shoe. So here is a view of the toes here, and you can see the beautiful detailing along the top of the facing into the long wing. The flowing, here are eyelets that are um, blind eyelets. They do not have um, any brass um, elements versus this pair here, which you can see has those brass eyelets. That um, storm welt that I was talking about versus a 360 degree flat welt. Hard fudging on both of those shoes here, you can see. Um, but really just a beautiful makeup here um, on both sides, both Oscar Last, both Shell Cordovan. Final views, final thoughts. Carmina just doing a great job. Carmina is not faultless. They do make some errors here in production from time to time. But all in all, high quality Goodyear welted shoes that are worth a look, especially if you're interested in higher quality leathers such as Horwe and Shell Cordovan. This is Ashwin Rao signing off on Carmina's Shell Long Wing Blucher. Have a good one.